everyone, Morgan here. So what's the difference between oxygen absorbers and silica packets? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Let's talk about oxygen absorbers first. Oxygen absorbers remove oxygen from a container. So if you put an oxygen absorber inside of a jar or a Mylar bag, it's going to be removing the oxygen from inside that bag. It takes about four hours or so for oxygen absorbers to fully remove the oxygen from whatever container. Once used, they cannot be reused. That's the purpose. The purpose is to remove the oxygen in order to extend the shelf life of a lot of dry good foods. Silica packets help to remove moisture. They don't remove oxygen or anything like that, but they can help to absorb moisture from whatever you put them in. Silica packets are gonna be reusable. This actually does talk about a reactivation process. You can bake the packets for 0.5 to two hours at 200 degrees. And then um, the reactivation time varies depending on the types of packets, sat saturation levels of the beads, and the types of oven. You can also do it in a microwave. Because when those beads are absorbing that moisture, well, the beads can only absorb so much of the, that moisture. So, you know, if you just take it and then you just keep throwing in stuff, it's not gonna be removing a lot of moisture, but you can reuse them by kind of reactivating them. Essentially, you're just drying them out. So there are two different purposes, two different reasons. This removes moisture, this removes oxygen. Two different purposes. Would I ever use them at the same time? Uh, probably not. I would, I would probably advise against using them at the same time. They're gonna be very specific purposes. This will remove anything that you're concerned about moisture. This will remove anything that you want to extend the shelf life of, of dried goods. So this actually does say, you know, a lot of the really good uses for this is going to be like pet food. Absolutely. I would put this in pet food. You could do this for medications, vitamins, getting rid of that moisture. Um, I do um, dehydrated powders. So you could put one in there to try to remove that moisture seeds and nuts and beef jerky really good for for removing some of that moisture from that and to prolong the shelf life a little bit so yeah um silica packets are good for a lot of things oxygen absorbers are going to be mostly good for the dry goods to extend it like the beans and the wheat berries and oats and things like that and this i would say is more kind of um on your short-term layer not maybe not a long-term layer but maybe like a short-term layer of your nuts and seeds that don't last super long term, but you can help maybe extend the shelf life a little bit by trying to remove a little bit of that excess moisture with the silica packets. Thank you all so much for watching. Cog tomorrow by preparing today. And you can check out links to both of these products down below in the description. Talk to y'all later. Bye.